It's Logan Coots from the Eagle 100.9. Tomorrow is a big day. It's actually the 21st. It's a Monday. No, I'm just kidding. It's the solar eclipse. So that's it. The last solar eclipse to be seen on this continent in this century. And as I said, not until August 21st, 2017, will another eclipse be visible from North America. That's 38 years from now. May the shadow of the moon fall on a world at peace. Now, there's a lot of ways to view the eclipse. If you have welding glasses or welding goggles, you can safely view the sun uh, without any damage to your eyeballs. But if you are like me and you really have no use for a welding helmet, let's make a pinhole camera. We only need a few things. Scissors, Pam's favorite. Some paper, just some scrap stuff I found lying around. Some tin foil, and something to make a tiny little hole. And that's it, let's get started. So we're gonna start with some scrap paper. Just a regular white sheet of paper will do. And you're gonna wanna cut a little tiny square into it. So let's do that. Now the reason that we're gonna be using tin foil and not just poking a hole in the paper is paper lets a lot of light through. And we need something that light is not gonna go through. Now that we have our nice little square, we're just gonna tape this right to it. Shiny side, dull side, really doesn't matter. Now that we have this done, it's time for step number two, which is poke an itty bitty little hole in it. And there you have it. It's as easy as that. Now that we're outside, we can finally see how it works. What you do is you get your piece of paper and just something else to project the light onto. And you hold about arm's length away and the light will go through the little hole all the way down to the piece of paper that you're holding it. Now, you can safely watch the eclipse. If you want something a little bit better than this wonderful little do-it-yourself, you can grab yourself a pair of binoculars or a camera. We'll show you how these work. Now, one thing to really remember, these are not safe to look at the sun with. They're good for, well, just hanging around, but do not look at the sun with these. Instead, if you have welder's glass, that'll work perfectly. You can put that on your camera, or you can just look up. Now, I have to make sure I have a level 12 or higher. Or, if you have a pair of binoculars or a telescope, you can set up this kind of projector. Much like the pinhole projector on the paper, this guy is taking the sunlight through here and sending it down in an even bigger hole. So you'll be able to safely watch the eclipse. Now this big piece of cardboard is just to block out the sun to make this nice big shadow so there's only one tiny little bit of light. Now if you had a little bit more time to prepare, or if you have one of these lying around, this is an ND or a UV filter, you can put that on your camera and then you can safely watch the eclipse through your viewfinder. But you gotta make sure it's on its max setting. Now if you still want to check out that eclipse but you don't have welding glass or you don't want to make one of these pinhole cameras, you can buy eclipse glasses. They're only two bucks at Best Buy. This is a once in a lifetime thing. Next one's not gonna happen until 2044. So make sure you enjoy it safely so you can see the next one. And most of all, have fun and if you get any really cool photos, make sure you send it to us. We want to check it out.